This is my review on Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Yeah, that's the title. Die Harder. What the fuck does that even mean? Who came up with that title? Why did they come up with that title? A bad question is. What? How? How could they come up with a title that's stupid? Die Harder? It's not it's called Die Harder. It's, just, it's not Die Hard 2 is not good enough. You have to label it as Die Hard 2. Die Harder. <laughs> this is the one where the entire movie takes place at an airport. You know what? I'm going to say it. I think this is the worst Die Hard movie in the franchise. And it's not because it has the worst name in the franchise. It's just that this is the one I have the most remembering, most trouble. Remember trying to figure out what's the point of this movie. Because it feels like the most pointless out of all the Die Hard movies. Yes, even the last two, Die Live Free or Die Hard, or A Good Day to Die Hard. It feels more pointless than those two. It feels more pointless than the most. The, the, so this is like, I think the most two most pointless Die Hard movie feels like a good is a good day to Die Hard, and Die Hard Two Die Harder. Now, I'm not saying this movie is bad by any means. It's just not good. Of course, that's what the other mo all of the Die Hard sequels are. And uh, 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 basically, the not good is not bad. So it's a 5 out of 10. I'm giving it. And, um. The film is very. Has very little story than any of the other Die Hard movies. Very light on story compared to the other ones that are light on story in the sequels. And the stories aren't, it doesn't like give you that much of a good impression, the story. I mean, the actions are good, the act, but what really, like I think, was makes this movie stand out uh, and not make it give you no impersonation on you. you know? I mean, if, let me rephrase that. This movie avoids from stopping, from giving you no lasting impersonations. A good uh, of you of you having it doesn't like it's not yet it's not movie really that you forget completely. It's just not what you remember as much as you want to remember in terms of what you liked about it. Now, where this movie really does shine is, where the, is when, when the action happens. Which, this is probably the most over-the-top action. <laughs> and most impossible action out of all the Die Hard movies. And that's, that's saying something, I say. So, I'm not really sure, 100% sure if, th if there is a coherent story. There's a setup for a coherent story, but not really a coherent story that's in the story. But we're supposed to just accept, accept us the audience that they think they're telling a coherent story. The filmmakers, you know, it, it, it gives off that impersonation to me, you know? Like, it seems as being more than it is, you know? We're in a reality a bit off more than it could chew. So, I would give it the prem, tell you what the. I, I, do you think is a. Uh, I'm not really sure what the story is. 
really in I'm not sure that's because of this little story or I'm just having trouble remembering the story compared to the remembering the action stuff in the story. It's more trouble. To, it's one of those when it's like the story's not as memorable as the action scenes with in, itself is in the story. I mean, it's not boring. It's it's very entertaining, but that mostly has to do with Bruce Willis's performance making the film entertaining more than it is on paper. I honestly think that this movie is like, you know when I, uh, I, this movie is like one of the ones where the main character really does save the movie uh, with his own, with his performance. That being said, And when it doesn't focus on, and thank God it's not that many scenes when it doesn't focus on Bruce Willis character as 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 McLean. Uh, when it does, but when that does happen, it doesn't focus on him. It, it's 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 pretty well very slow and and drags on a bit. When it doesn't f- focus on Bruce Willis being uh, chewing up this, uh, being Bruce Willis and chewing up the scene and uh, son of the show. So, yeah, that's that's all I can say about this movie. Not much. I can as much as I want to. So it's like it's just like one of those movies. So that's why I give it a five out of ten. So and let's see. Wait, hang on. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. That, that's what how I can, that's all I can say. I'm, I'm just yeah, pretty sure. Okay, bye.